A very strange thing happened this week in sports history. The year was 1956. What was it? Hi, everybody. This is Short Shots. A look back in time. This week in 1956, the Brooklyn Dodgers traded Jackie Robinson to the New York Giants for pitcher Dick Littlefield and cash estimated at $30,000. The deal was a shock, not only because it forced Robinson to leave Brooklyn, where he played since debuting in 1947, he integrated the major leagues, but also because it sent him to the rival Giants, who he hated. Neither club was aware at that time, but Robinson previously sold a story to Look magazine slated for publication in January of 1957. Jackie never had to put on a Giants uniform. He quit three weeks after the trade and after the holidays. The trade was void. Bottom line, Jackie Robinson retired because he was traded. Four years later, another Jackie retired simply because he was afraid to fly. Actually, he quit baseball two years after he won the American League MVP as an outfielder for the Boston Red Sox in 1958. Jackie Jensen hit 35 home runs with 122 RBIs in 1958. When Jackie joined the Yankees as a rookie in 1951, teams traveled almost exclusively by train. But that changed in 1960, when teams traveled exclusively by air. So Jackie sat out the entire 1960 season, but he tried to come back for 1961. He played the first couple of home games at Fenway Park. But when the first road trip was about to start, Jackie Jensen could not get over the fear for flying. He refused to step onto a plane and had to retire at the age of 32. What else? Coming closer, 25 years this week, in 1985, the Eagles blew a 23-0 lead with nine minutes remaining, losing 28-23 to the Vikings at the Vet. And 10 days later in 85, Wayne Gretzky recorded seven assists to lead the Oilers past the Blackhawks 12-9 in Chicago Stadium. The 21 combined goals tied the NHL record for most goals in one game that was set in 1920. Mother of God. Thanks for watching. Till next time, be a good sport and stay loose.